You know when you married me, Dad, Mum? Did you fancy him like? <laughs> what sort of a question is that, eh? Well, I'm just asking. You know, because if he was rowing then like you do now, you'd never have married him, would you? Well, he won't say fella then, would he, kids? They never are. What, you mean he was like cool and that? Oh, definitely. Read it on Tommy Steely while you sing all his songs to me, you know. I never felt more like. Well, all he does now is snow his flaming head off. Don't get it. Oh, you will. Happens to all of you. Not to me, it won't. I'll still remember what it was like on your wedding day. Well, I hope you do, kid. I do, honest. But I'll tell you something straight. If you've got one drop of your dad's blood in you, you don't stand a dog's chance. Why don't you kick him out, man? Well, it's better than no. Flipping it. Listen, you'll find out in this life you settle for what you can get. Like Mum used to say to me, she used to say, chance to find a bloke, you know, it's right for you. And I mean right. Well, it's a million to one chance. But if you're lucky to get one, you know, like you, you, you cop for him, like you, cop, you grab him, don't you? Well, it's something to share your troubles with. Yeah, but my dad doesn't share his troubles with you, though, does he? He causes them. Look, you can't have everything. Look, get your snapping and get yourself off to work. What are they? Cheese. Before you start arguing, Toss, can I get tin salmon housekeeping? You can have tin salmon sandwiches. Till then, well, it's cheese, so I think I'm. I want full whack tonight. Hey, it's not me that doesn't pay you full whack, you know. It's him upstairs in his pit. Talk to him. Oh, don't worry, love, I will. Because I meant what I said, you know. If he doesn't start paying his fair share, I'm packing my bags and I'm walking out of here. Before you go, fries a couple of eggs, will you? Yeah, I'll fry you. What's the matter with him, then? Well, he's just come to the conclusion that I've got a perfect dad. Oh, yeah. Did my boss give you a ring from the meat market? Hey. Oh, yeah. Uh, have you brought it? Yeah, it's outside, next to the blue van. Uh, what's the brake seem to, right? Oh, I don't know. Is that what he said? I'm just doing the chauffeur and me. Yeah, tell him I'll look at it for him. Yeah. On your Todd here, are you? Yeah. We're looking for somebody, though. Oh, don't look at me. I can drive them, drive them all. But I don't know what goes on underneath the bonnet. I've got a mate who does, though. Great mechanic, knows a lot. Hey, is he after a job? Yeah, he will be. We'll send him round. I'm promising nothing, but uh, I'll have a look at him. Yeah, OK. Could be about a couple of weeks, though. He's not out for a fortnight. How do you mean? Well, he's in hospital. Smashed up this BMW while he was taking it back to a customer. Wraps it right round the number 34 bus. Do you know, he had the nerve to sack him while he's lying there with four cracked ribs. Great lad, though. Any road, I'll send him round when I see him. Uh, no, don't bother. Uh, I'll let you know. Uh, I'm after somebody a bit sooner than that. Uh, like tomorrow. Oh, OK, then. Suit yourself. Uh, pick up the motor tomorrow morning, then. Any time after ten. Great. Ciao. Hear that? Where's your mother? She's gone for something for auntie. Oh, not flaming fish and chips again. Well, I couldn't get any meat, could I? He started cutting down on the perks at work. You pathetic, you are. Hey, you water. What for? Because I want a bath. You don't think I want to drink it, do you? Don't you ever have a bath? When I'm going out on the town, yeah. Is that what you're doing tonight? Out with your fancy woman? I can do without your clever remarks, laddie. One day you're gonna get a backhander. You'll be getting a backhander if my man finds out. Oh, aye. And who's gonna tell her, eh? Who is it that knows? I can flaming do without you. Right, I'm off. Hey, you stop where you are. You're not budging till you put your share of housekeeping on money on that table. Right? Here's my share. Come on, let's be having you there, are you? 30 quid each. Come on, you heard your mother. I'm waiting for you. Well, I've only had the cab out a few minutes this afternoon. And what are you doing the rest of the week then, eh? Busy with your lady friends, were you? Don't kid me, you haven't been earning it. It's a bad month, isn't it? I mean, nobody takes cabs this time of year. Well, every month's a bad time, according to you. If sun's shining, everybody's walking. If it's raining, everybody stops at home. Yeah, well. 30 quid, come on. Right, 23 quid. And that's me, skint. Search me, go on, search me. Look. I won't lower myself. Look, if you don't believe me. Come on, love, let's be having yours. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and you can have the other seven when he coughs his up. 
What do we get in London with a son like him, eh? You did your fair share. More than your fair share. Look, I'll give you the other seven when I come in. Oh, don't worry. Put it through a letterbox, because I'll tell you what, if you do, I'm not looking that door. 